None of this here confusion tonight after reports of a suspicious letter addressed to Maine Secretary of State Shenna Bellows today. So originally her office said it was intercepted out of state, but then late tonight her office says a letter was not intercepted. Bonnie Bishop joins us now and Bonnie, we're still trying to figure out what happened here. John Kathleen, that's exactly right. We have reached out to the FBI to figure out if there even was a letter sent to Maine or if a litter did make it to Augusta. Now we know the FBI and the Postal Service say letters were sent to other state election officials today. Some of those letters contained an unknown powder. There were no reports of any injuries, but we still don't know who sent them or why. Now this all comes after a second assassination attempt on former President Trump this weekend. With political tension coming to violence like this, Ron Schmidt, a political professor at USM, says our democracy can only successfully run nationally and here at home if our election workers are protected. For the system to work, we rely upon basically citizens of goodwill who are willing to dedicate a lot of time um, and a lot of effort, often without much in the way of recompense, to help make sure the system works smoothly. And as they become increasingly targeted for violence, that endangers the entire system's ability to function smoothly, which only adds fuel to those who are cynical about it and would like to see democ our democracy derailed. Now, Shanna Bellows has called out political violence in the past. She's actually been targeted before. In December of last year, her home was swatted, and Bellows said she has received dangerous threats. For Maine's Total Coverage, I'm Bonnie Bishop.